सीबीएसई क्लास ट्वेल्व प्रैक्टिकल स्किल्स इन बायोलॉजी एक्सपेरिमेंट नंबर सेवन ब्रेकिंग डाउन स्टार्च यूजिंग सलाइवरी आमिल सेवन पॉइंट वन टू स्टडी द एक्शन ऑफ सलाइवरी आमिल एंजाइम ऑन स्टार्च एम टू स्टडी द एक्शन ऑफ सलाइवरी आमिल एंजाइम ऑन स्टार्च मेटीरियल्स रिक्वायर्ड test tubes test tube stands droppers beakers water bath wire gauze tripod stand cotton iron solution measuring cylinders funnel burner starch sodium chloride potassium iodide and distilled water preparation of reagents 1% starch solution add 1 gram of soluble starch in 10 ml of distilled water to make a thick paste add 10 ml of the starch paste in 90 ml of distilled water and boil it along with gradual stirring leave the solution for 12 to 14 hours and then filter it in order to obtain 1% starch 1% NaCl solution 1 g of NaCl is to be dissolved in 100 ml of water saliva collecting for preparing enzyme extract dip a thin film of cotton in water and drain out the excess of water by pressing it between in hands now put this cotton film over the funnel such that it acts as a filter and put the funnel over a clean test tube chew a piece of rubber to increase the production of saliva and pour this saliva into the funnel which will be filtered out through the wet cotton film Add one ml of this filtered saliva in 19 ml of water to obtain 1 is to 20 dilution of the enzyme. Procedure: Prepare two sets of iron tubes with six test tubes in each set containing one ml of iodine solution in each of them in separate stands. Add 5 ml of 1% starch solution and 1 ml of 1% NaCl solution in test tubes and label one test tubes as experimental tube and the other as control tube. Keep both the test tubes in the water bath for 10 minutes, maintain at 37 degrees Celsius. Add 1 ml of dilute saliva to the experimental test tube. and 1 ml of water to the control tube take a drop from each tube and add to the iron tubes of both the sets repeat this procedure after every 2 minutes and mention the change in color of iodine mention the total time taken by experiment tube till it does not give color with iodine This is known as achromic point. Observations. Was 
results. Minutes of time is required by 1 ml of diluted salivary amylase enzyme for the digestion of 5 ml of 1% starch solution completely to the acromic point. Seven point two. To study the effect of temperature on the activity of salivary amylase enzyme on starch. Aim to study the effect of temperature on the activity of salivary amylase enzyme on starch. Materials required: test tubes, beakers, test tube stands, funnel, dropper, NaCl. tripod stand wire gauze cotton thermometer water bath measuring cylinder burner starch iodine and distilled water procedure prepare three sets of iodine tubes with eight test tubes in each set add 1 ml of iodine solution in each test tube in separate stand add 5 ml of 1% starch solution and 1 ml of 1% NaCl solution in three experimental tubes and maintain them at three different temperatures of 5 degrees Celsius plus 2 degrees Celsius, 37 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius, and 70 degrees Celsius plus or minus 2 degrees Celsius using separate water baths. Add one ml of diluted enzyme in all the three experimental tubes, and add one drop from each of these test tube into iodine tubes. Mention the time of adding as zero minute reading. Repeat this process after every two minutes till iodine color does not change. Record the observations of every experimental setup. observation result the enzymatic activity of salivary amylase enzyme is maximum at 37 plus or minus 2 degrees celsius seven point three To study the effect of three different pH on the action of salivary amylase on starch, aim to study the effect of three different pH on the action of salivary amylase on starch. Materials required: three series of test tubes having iodine solution in each. Test tubes: pH tablets of five, six point eight, and eight. beaker containing water with thermometer 15 ml 1% starch solution plus 3 ml 1% NaCl saliva solution droppers burner wire gauze tripod stand and thermometer procedure take a beaker containing 15 ml of 1% starch solution plus 3 ml of 1% NaCl solution divide and pour the solution into three test tubes and mark them as A B and C respectively add pH tablet 5 into test tube A pH tablet 6.8 into test tube B and pH tablet 8 into test tube C now transfer experimental tubes A B and C into a beaker containing water and a thermometer for recording temperature temperature of this beaker is to be maintained at 37 degrees celsius using a dropper take 3 ml saliva solution and add 1 ml of solution to each of these three test tube immediately using a dropper take few drops from experimental tube a and transfer this into the first series of test tubes having iodine solution Similarly do the same procedure for test tube B and test tube C and transfer the solution into second and third series of test tubes having iodine solution note this time as 0 minute reading after an interval of 2 minutes 
Again take a drop from each of the tube and add to the iron tube and note the changes in color of iron. Keep on repeating the experiment at an interval of every 2 minutes till color of the iron does not change. Observations Result pH 5 is acidic and pH 8 is alkaline. Therefore, salivary amylase did not act in these tubes. The enzyme acted in the tube with pH 6.8 that is slightly acidic and digested the starch.